Greetings, I'm Bishop Eric K. Clark. Today's Megabyte will be about this book, Get Your Money Right. I've written a series of books on finances, other people's money, preparing for a preferred future, Get Your Money Right, this book that I'm referencing here, and um, there are several other books. There's another book entitled, The Need to See Prosperity. I want to exhort you to give yourself to reading, give yourself to studying, give yourself to feeding your spirit and your mind something inspirational. I think that this is a great time to evaluate, to hit the reset button in the area of your finances. Get your money right. If you're behind with bills, get your money right. If you're getting your money through tainted streams, illegal streams, or even if you find yourself working and you hate your job, you hate going to work, you hate what you do to make a living, well, get your money right. Make some changes. Reevaluate. Reset some things in your life and get your money right. Most of all, honor the Lord with the first fruits of thine increase. As the Word of God says, and your barns will be filled with plenty. Your storehouses will burst forth with new wine. The Lord will bless you. He will increase you. The liberal soul will be made fat. But you got to get your money right. There's an interesting passage in Luke 17 which says that as you are faithful over unrighteous mammon, the Lord will commit to you the true riches. And that means that money becomes a gauge in our lives for God to determine whether or not we can handle true riches. And you know what true riches are? The souls of men influence over people's lives. I believe that when you manage your money, when you honor God with your finances, as a matter of fact, when you get your money right, God releases to you spiritual authority. God releases to you the true riches, the ability to influence the souls of man. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.